Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, last time we got to this point where we included the header, the footer, and the view that just displayed the hey. One thing that I did not mention, remember we were using that echo base URL? Look at that right there. That's what it includes. On your website, it'll include the folder location of your website. So, uh, I guess to continue on from here, I was kind of thinking uh, if we look at some of this information right here, for example, the address, phone number, email, um, as well as any kind of contact information, website, we can put that information in one of two places, either the database table or a configuration file. To make it I guess more interesting, uh, we'll go ahead and place that into a configuration file. So first what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a custom configuration file. So we'll go ahead and create a file called custom config and or actually let's go ahead and maybe config custom so that it's nice and next to the original configuration file. Next, we'll want to open up this configuration file just so that we can copy this information right there. And within this configuration file, we're also going to need pretty much the same configuration array. We're just going to do, or we're just going to post different elements. So, for example, company name is going to be in there as well as. Uh, phone number, so phone, um, email, let's do address, street, city, state, zip. there's anything else that we might have missed yeah website that's so let's put that there website not sure how many of you guys know but I also own an e-commerce business which I'll go ahead and display right here first choice wheels and tires it's an aftermarket wheel and tire store um, and we're gonna go ahead and use some of these details to go ahead and make it actually seem like it's an actual business that we're creating but the business name of this one is auto rental or exotic car rental that was just the online pop-up for the chat let's go ahead and close that so exotic car rental, let's go back here. Company name, exotic car rental. Phone, 800-290-1683. If you actually do call that number, there's a chance that I won't pick up. <laughs> Info at cyberrooms.com. Website, um, cyberrooms.com. Cities, Atlanta, Georgia, Rio 31. So we have this custom configuration file, so we don't want to load it every single time, so we'll just go to auto load. Uh, you're going to want to find this auto load config, and we're going to want to load config custom. Otherwise, if we didn't load this config custom, then every time we wanted to use it, we would have to do something like this config load config custom in here and we're pretty much going to be using this information throughout for every single footer so that's that um, also I guess now would be a good place to go ahead and include that information into the footer but I'm trying to 
decide whether to include all that information here, and I'm leaning towards no, just because there's a lot of information, and we may add some additional information. So I guess this would be a good time to go ahead and create a model. We'll go ahead and call this model structure model. And within structure model, same as anything else, we have to include this portion. The way uh, models work is you'll go ahead and create a class name, called class, whatever you named it. And in order to use some of the features, um, you'll have to extend the CI model, such as, for example, the database and stuff like that. So then you'll create your public function. Um, let's call get footer details. Actually. And we'll do this. We should put it in data. Let's equal to this config item. Since it's auto loaded, we can just reference it here. And what did we name it? So one of them is company name. So if we go back here, we can just say company name. Data is an array. So let's go ahead and data is an array. And data company name is equal to this config item company name. For the time being, we'll just go ahead and return the data just to make sure it worked. In our main controller, we need to load the model. So this load model. And the model name is structure model. So then we can reference the structure model. And within the structure model, what are we doing? We're getting the footer details. And we can store that information. And data footer, for example. So let's see first of all how we return it. So we're returning an array that we're still in footer. And then we can actually just pass data footer here. So since this is an array, Actually, you know what, to make this even simpler, let's go ahead and just name this footer so that I'm not confusing you guys. Remember, this footer is an array because we're returning an array. And we're going to be able to call this company name directly when we pass footer into the footer view. So within the footer view, company name right here let's just make sure that it works it should output exotic car rentals so if we go here we're actually here so there it is exotic car rental so everything works it's good to go all we have to do now is just load up the rest of the configuration files into our structure model. So, so that I don't have to flip back and forth, we'll just go ahead and set some of this stuff up. Config item. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the first one is phone, email, website, address, street, address, city, address, state, and address zip. By the way, if, uh, if you have JetBrains, you can just press Control D and it makes a copy of whatever line you're on. So I do like everything to be painstakingly symmetrical. Don't know why, it just looks nicer in my opinion. So you guys are gonna have to suffer for it, I guess. 
next thing. Okay, so phone, email, website, address, street, address, state, address, zip, nope, city, right here. City, state, and zip. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I mean, we can do one more, which is just the address itself. And that will be just basically data, address, street, followed by, oh, data, address, city. information so now we can go ahead and pass all this information and you know what let's go ahead and actually add some comments necessary details It's returning an array. Uh, if you ever use PHP doc, you'll want to pretty much reference it that way. If you have any kind of parameter, you'll say add param, which we'll see pretty soon because we are going to have parameters. And uh, when you go ahead and create your PHP doc, which is very similar to Java doc, if you've ever used that, uh, you'll have all this nice commented out uh, information. So, there we go, we don't hit this intersectional line. And if we go to a footer, let's just go ahead and our dump. Actually, we can't do that. Um, let's try echo address to see if that worked. And it did. All right, so actually the zip code is not there. So it didn't work. Fit custom, address zip, structure, address, address zip is equal to, okay, that's where I messed up. And if we refresh it, good. All right, we're good to go. So now we can actually start including some of the header and footer details, but Good guess, some of these videos, they just fly by so quick. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and continue this on in the next tutorial. I know I've been promising to do the header and footer in the next one. What we're gonna wanna do is we'll create the navigation. I can't promise now if we'll actually get to the footer and display the footer details, like basically the bottom footer portion. And I'll show you some of the shortcuts that I also take. Um, with this information. So until next time.